welcome aboard. Hey, we're on the Maxim, the 2400 SCR. And here's our issue. Our issue is the bathroom lights. One is real dim, the other one didn't work. It, we pulled the one that didn't work down because the bulb was good and found out one of the wires was broke. It's a real small hole, hard to get the wires out. So, look there up there with the light. Used our very long uh, tweezers here. Could go through the hole. I couldn't video that because I couldn't see in there and video at the same time. But went through and uh, basically what we did was we grabbed the wire. You can see the wire through the hole. We grabbed it with this, uh, like this. Clipped this because you can see this is a surgical tool that we have uh, where it stays clipped down here. So I don't know if you can see that, but uh, you can see the serrations there. So that's how that works. So let's go in the bathroom and see where we're at at this point. All right, if we sound like we're in the can, it's because we are in the can. Well, we caught the head on the boat, but you know what I mean. So you can see how we got the wires coming through. Uh, we believe the black one will be the ground and the uh, blue one will be the... Uh, Get hot. So what we're gonna do is we cut these off. Start by doing that. I know y'all are thinking, why don't I just use the good lights over again? Uh, if you have a Maxim, you got this cover pops on here, uh, pops on here like this. All right, get it out. You just pry it out. So that's it, and uh, we can keep these, but I don't know what we're going to use them for, but there it is. So, what we bought was LED lights. And we bought these really nice LED lights. Again, we got red, which we're assuming is a positive, and black, that is the ground. So we're going to put some connectors on here, and then we're going to test this. You can see here how dull that light is, okay? Looks bright, but it ain't that bright. See that? Okay? It's pretty dull. And then look at all the dirt come out of there uh, from above the dashboard. It's pretty funny. So we'll do this one second. We'll do this one first. So let's, uh, let's get our connectors on. All right, when you do this work, plug your sink. You drop little parts down your sink. You can't get them back. They go outside to the river, yada, yada. Make sure you plug your sink. Uh, we got a little screen in ours. Oh, we're going to strip these two wires. You can see here, you get... Uh, you can see that, but uh, be careful not to hit your mirror. All right, and we don't know where it went, but I see it on the floor now. Whatever you do, always pick up your pieces because it's a boat. You get some serious problems if you get these little pieces in these little type of pieces like this in the bilge. They'll jam your pump and your boat don't float no more. So we're gonna get these two pieces picked up. So we got them. Now what we're gonna do, you've seen this before. It's gonna put these in here. And we're gonna come in here and uh, swage this. We're going to tug at it, make sure it's a good connection. Get another one. And uh, see if it works. I want to make sure you hook these up the right way. So before you uh, clip it in place, always test the wires. Nothing comes on. Try to switch the other direction. Hey, look at that. So there's a bright light now. Look at that light. All right. So uh, we know how to we know how to wire them up. Going to turn it off. I'm going to swage these two connections just like we did the other ones. We want the light switch to be down when it's off and up when it's on because that's the way we normally do them in a home. So we'll tuck some of this back up and we'll figure out how to mount this. Here we'll probably put it down this way a little bit because uh, we got two of them. We got another one that's going to go there. So put this one like right here. So let's uh, go figure out what size drill we need. Uh, fair. So we got a drill here and a screw. We kind of we kind of lined them up. 
you can look and see the uh, the drill fits inside this hole and the screw uh, does not uh, fit in the hole. So that's the size we're going to use. In this case, it's a 1 8 drill bit. Hey, word of caution. They gave us wire nuts. Don't use wire nuts on your boat. They vibrate loose. All right, so got our trusty Ryobi. Don't have a lot of space in the bathroom here, so it's kind of tight. I'm going to figure out where we want this, uh, this to be here. A lot of goobers on here, huh? Well, that's weird. I don't know where that came from, but whatever. So we want to put this like over this far. We're going to put it like right there. That's kind of nice, right? Right there, okay? And we're just going to drill one of these. That's it. We got one hole in. So we're going to get one screw, a screwdriver, and put one in, and we'll work our way around the others. Let's see our little hole. That's pretty good. I'm going to put this up here like this, and kind of get our wires tucked behind it. You can see what we did there. We got one screw. Now it's just a matter of drilling some more. Best to do these one at a time. Come with a nice little Fresnel style lens. Tuck that in there like that. Hey, look at that. We got nice light really bright let's do the other one and then we'll come back and show you what we got well here we are in our bathroom with lights off and look at we have two lights in here wow check it out hey that's bright hey that's even brighter check it out man let's look at the let's look at the room here look at this look at this wow there's two lights that's pretty nice let's see what it looks like from the other side Here's your bathroom with no lights on. Turn your lights on. Wow, look at that, man. Nice, really nice. Look at, you can even see yourself. Well, there you go. Lights in the bathroom. Perfect. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't miss these videos. We're doing the Maxim 2400 SCR rebuilds and repairs. Bathroom lights are fixed. Catch you in the next video.